Okay, I'm here with a few sixth grade students that are going to explain the Biome project. Okay, guys, can you tell me what the project was and how you did it? Well, first we had to get on and do research on our biomes, and we had we did a project earlier in the year that told us what animal we did, and by that animal we picked a biome. Mm -hmm. Then we had to get on to our uh, Google site, and under our sixth grade science page, we had to make an extended page for the biome projects individually. And on there is where we inserted all of our our videos, and then after that we had to make a slideshow of pictures and animals and plants that are in our biomes, and we had to insert that onto our site too. So what was the first thing you did? Um, we had to make the diorama. Okay, and what, what diorama did you make? Uh, just a horse. Okay, and how'd you do it? What'd you do? Um, just make stuff. And, and then what'd you have to do with that? Um, and then we, then our teacher video taped us, and then we put it. On her site. And you presented that to the class? Yeah. And she videotaped that presentation? Yes. Yeah, so she had all the, um, after she recorded all of our projects, us present the, us presenting them, you, she had a list of all of our names and you had to go on and find your link. And when you clicked on that link, it would take you to a YouTube page that only you and the teachers could see by going through her link. Yeah. You just paste it. the link on there. And then you enter your title, and after your title was in, you could just save it, and it came up on your page, and you could just pull the things around on your page to where you want them, and then you just click save, and it was on your page. Okay, so you have a video of you presenting the diorama, and then you have a slideshow. What else did you have? Um, we had to get a map, like we just went to Google, Google Maps, and then we found a place where your biome is, and then you just insert, insert it to your site. Okay, so what did you do? You, did you do like, you had a map and you made, you, you created the map? Well, no, you had to, you had to get on and um, you had to, you had to know your biome and you had to get on and you had to search places around the world that that biome is located in. And when you found like an individual city, you then could go on to Google Docs and search maps for that certain city in the country. And then when you found it, you just had to insert it onto your page. And we had to get on our docs, and we had to open up a page and get onto like drawing tool. And on there, you'd go and you'd search animals that were like, uh, that were in, in your food chain. And then you'd put them on that page, and then you'd draw arrows to what they ate, and then you'd have a next set of animals and you draw arrows to what they ate and then you had to insert that on your site for a food chain. Gotcha. What did you think about this project? Um, I think it was kind of fun. You get to experiment. Was it hard? Mm -hmm. um, at yeah. times. What was the hardest part of it? Uh, just uh, if you were stuck at something trying to get yourself through it like because the teacher can't help it. everybody at once. So if you were to get stuck on something and you tried to had to get yourself through it, I thought that was one of the tougher things. So just because it was new technology that we haven't done yet. So if you had a new another teacher, another sixth grade teacher was going to assign their sixth grade kids to do a project like this, what advice would you give those kids going into it? Um, I'd give, I'd tell them just to try, try to get through it and to try to it's like just. That try everything and just experiment. It's not that hard once you know how to do it, so. So would you be, you like to do it again if we had another assignment yeah. like this? I, yeah, yeah. I'd definitely do it again. Just a different biome. Different biome? Yeah. Oh, interesting.